Hi, I am Abbas Malik and you are watching my YouTube channel English with Abbas Malik. In this video, I am going to explain another part of speech and that is pronoun. I already have made a videos on parts of speech. I discussed before part of speech that is nouns. So the description of this video is be available on below. So without wasting your time, let's start today's video. So, as far as the uh, pronoun is concerned, in pronouns, this is a part of speech which is used on the behalf of nouns. So, we can say that this is a word which is used and replace the nouns. We know that in nouns we have uh, work as a noun like a subject or an object. So, pronoun is replace the nouns. So, we can divide the pronoun into a three different uh, persons or life first we have we then we have I and we so these two be considered the first person pronouns after that we have you you is considered second person pronouns further we have third person pronouns which we use as uh, that is he she it they these are the third person pronouns which we use in writing and conversation as well. So, so further we have a different kinds of pronoun. In kinds of pronouns we have a different kinds of pronoun. First we have personal pronouns. Then we have demonstrative pronouns. After we have interrogative pronouns. Then we have possessive pronouns. And at the end we have indefinite pronouns. So these are the few kinds of pronouns which we have uh, in pronouns. So as far as the personal pronoun is concerned, in personal pronouns we are using it for representing people. In this kind of pronouns we use these pronouns for representations. So in representation we use pronouns like we have these pronouns. First we have I, we, he, she, it, etc. So these are the pronouns which consider to be our personal pronouns because of their function. Further we have another types of pronouns and types of pronouns we have demonstrative pronouns. So as well as demonstrative pronouns in concerns, they are used to represent the direction and location. They are basically referring the location of nouns. So, we have example there like this. For example, we can say that this is a door, this is a whiteboard, and this is a marker. So, these show the direction or location of the nouns. Further, we have that, these, those. Next, types of pronouns we have interrogative pronouns. In interrogative pronouns, we can use these types of pronouns for the purpose of asking questions because we use these pronouns for asking purpose of questioning. So we can say that we have pronouns like who, which and whose. These are interrogative pronouns. Next we have possessive pronouns. In possessive pronouns we can say that this pronouns tell us who owns it? Basically, they are used for own something, possessions. So here the aspects of possessions here. So in possessions we have ours, their, his, and her. So these are used for the possession purpose. And at the end we have indefinite pronouns. Or indefinite pronouns we can say that these refer basically people and things without being specific. So these referring purpose, these nouns, pronouns are used for referring purpose as well. So we can say that we are here the example like uh, or some, somebody, someone. So these consider like a indefinite pronouns. So this is all about the pronouns and which means helps you how to make your writing more appropriate and more efficient and decent. Way. 